Oh, <laughs> hey, hello, Sinon Shivers, yeah. And right now, um, you guys come to the place where we discuss about movies all night long. <laughs> no. uh, uh, this is Cinema Lounge, and we will discuss about the latest movies to be reviewed. Yeah, yang kau yang rasa nggak afterit banget dengan film-film yang akan dirilis. Di minggu-minggu ini, you come to the right place because I'm William as the host. We'll be giving you some of the movies like the one I'm inspired in. Like uh, a prisoner just got out of prison, gangsta, gangsta, gitu ya. Uh, um, we'll be reviewing about our mov main movie, it's called Blood Ties. And also, there is gonna be our suggest movie, which is an Indonesian movie called Me and You Against the World, comes from a novel, ya. Yeah. Ada juga nanti ada coming soon movie. But as usual, I'm gonna tell you later, and I'm sure it's a good one, yeah. Then all of the movies are screened in Blitz Megaplex also. And for the first movie, we're gonna discuss about uh, our main movie, which is Blood Ties. Yeah, Blood Ties is a film yang dibintangi oleh Mila Kunis and also Billy Crudup, and also there is you know lots of lineup actors and actresses, yeah. And also don't forget Clive Owen is the main. Um, actor di film ini ya. It's a story about this, you know, the main character yang just got out of prison dan he wants to start a straight, you know, a, a straight life again. So, you know, but, you know, things got in the way ya. Untuk lebih jelasnya lagi, you can watch the trailer. First, this is the trailer of Blood Ties. Yeah, so, Blood Ties. Yeah, it's a yeah, trailer of Blood Ties, yeah, which is uh, also a French-American collaboration, yeah, karena, uh, you know, by the look of the, uh, the trailer, you can see it's, you know, it's in French also, yeah, because um, it's a joint collaboration, jadi film ini di uh, oleh Guilhem Julem Canet, yeah, dan film ini adalah remake dari film Perancis tahun 2008 berjudul Lely and Dusang yang uh, di uh, buat oleh Jacques Malut ya dan um, film adaptasi ini itu juga um, you know di um, uh, novel yang dibuat oleh uh, Jacques Malut dan film ini film terdahulunya dibuat oleh Bruno dan Michelle Pape ya. dan untuk screenplay dari film ini um, ditulis sendiri oleh Stradley juga dan uh, ada James Gray dan uh, film ini dibina oleh Clive Owen, Blair, Billy Crudup, Mary Cotillard, Mila Kunis, dan Matthias Schoenert ya. dan film ini ditayangkan di uh, festival film Cannes tahun 2013 ya dan um, mendapatkan release a limited release di United States pada Maret tahun ini ya. dan film ini uh, bercerita seputar tentang karakter Chris yang diperankan oleh Clive Owen yang uh, berusaha untuk menjauhi masalah setelah keluar dari penjara ya. namun you know lots of conflicts happened dan uh, there's gonna be crossing uh, against his own brother uh, Frank ya ini berang oleh Billy Crudup yang ternyata adalah polisi di New York ya yeah, so um, you know kind of like this gangster this crime related movies ya yeah. then um, for the trivia itself the filming starts um, sebenarnya uh, sudah lama sekali ya dari tahun 2012 sebenarnya filmnya sudah diambil gambarnya sudah shoot kemudian um, uh, un untuk produksi sendiri uh, Clive Owen dan Billy Crudup itu di uh, announced as the actors uh, mainkan di film ini pada bulan Maret 2012 ternyata ya so it quite a long time ya yeah, before it's uh, get to screen of Blitz Mega Flex ya yeah, so um, you know that's basically the review I have for the movie Blood Ties. Don't go anywhere because I will be discussing about the latest Indonesian movie called Me and You Against the World yang diambil dari novel juga. Yeah, so don't go anywhere. I will shoot some bad or good guys, yeah. So don't go anywhere, still on Cinema Lounge.
what 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 <laughs> yeah 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 tadi ya i just did some you know dealing with stuff gitu ya so uh, welcome back to cinema lounge with me Willem as the host and i will be discussing about uh, the latest indonesian movie ya yeah? uh, it's called me and you against the world dan film ini diambil dari novel uh, you know kind of like this um, you know like a rom-com novel thing ya yeah? um, kayak chick flick gitu ya chick flick sedikit ya jadi uh, film ini dibintang oleh Dia Seto ada juga Rio Dewanto dan juga ada Piu ya Piu Padi ya dan uh, film ini lebih menceritakan tentang kayak you know go the distance you know break out from your usuals ya yeah? stuff like that ya yeah? ini adalah film terbaru dari Rio Dewanto juga ya yeah? so uh, in this kind of particular movie ya, film uh, Rio Dewan tadi gambarkan ini you know, like macho man thing like that ya. Yeah. So curious about the movie, you gonna have to see the trailer first. This is uh, Me and You uh, versus the World. So this is it. Me and You. Yeah, so that's basically the movie, uh, the trailer of the movie Me and You versus the World ya. Yeah. Yang di uh, ambil dari novel karya Stanley Milan. So it's kind of like, you know, this kind of like go to distance some, uh, that I mentioned before, you know, kind of like this average guy, you know, try to explore, dan juga di ketemukan dengan karakter anak SMU gitu ya, ini banyak oleh Dea Seto yang, you know, try to, you know, take some experience, ya, yeah. uh, wild life experience juga ya, yeah. so, those characters akhirnya uh, bertemu di salah satu, uh, di satu event gitu ya, yeah. so, you know, um, karakter Jeremy yang diperang oleh Rio Dewanto itu uh, emang cerita itu bosan gitu dengan pekerjaannya dan um, berniat ingin, you know, want to conquer the world ya dengan you know, the motto ya dan um, you know, involved in rough thing cuma kayak karakter um, uh, yang diperang oleh Dea Seto itu ya um, si Sera itu ya, menganggap itu teman-teman saya menganggap itu berbahaya, so you know this kind of like conflicts and also family conflicts and you know all that stuffs making the movie itself me and you versus the world. Yeah. So ada juga appearance ya dari Manohara tadi as you see in the trailer and you know it's quite uh, kayak agak nakal gitu ya karakternya ya. So and also there's a butchek adapt as uh, the papanya Sera gitu ya ada juga you know this um, try a journey continues dan juga diceritakan cerita dua tokoh kemudian itu uh, Jeremy bertualang berpetualangan ke India Taj Mahal juga so, so there's footage of Taj Mahal ya so mereka akhirnya ketemu lagi gitu jadi kayak Kayak cinta bersemi kembali gitu, gitu ya. So that's basically the premise, premise of the movie. Yeah. Curious about the movie? You gonna have to check the movie out at Blitz Megaplex because it's already been released. Yeah. So you know, for you guys want to watch alternative Indonesian movies, you can watch this movie. Yeah. So that's basically the review I have for uh, Me and You versus the World. Then in the meantime, I will be taking a break, yeah. I will be breaking some bad guys' legs gitu mungkin ya. So, uh, in the meantime, we will be coming to you to discuss about our coming to movie, but right after the break, still on Cinema Lounge, yeah. What? 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 <laughs> yeah. So, welcome back again. You know, tadi sudah break someone legs. Yeah. Sekarang I will give be giving you the latest coming soon movie. Yeah. So I'm gonna mess the host by the way. Yeah. Then I'm be giving you this one is worth to watch also because it's the movie uh, starring Tom Hardy. Yeah. It's called Lock. 
Ya, jadi um, critics saying that you know this movie is actually it's kind of like an underdog, you know, indie movie, but it's actually uh, the I think the best uh, Tom Hardy's performance, yeah. So be giving out, you know, like the movie come out of nowhere, gitu ya. Um, but suddenly it's you know it's that good, yeah, critically, yeah, critically good. So we'll see about the um the encounter movie was yeah the box office so uh i will be giving you the trailer first you to know to is your curiosity yeah so um you'll be seeing the trailer first this is the trailer of locked by tom hardy What, 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 gitu ya, kayak, you know, like, thoughts in your head, ya. Yeah. That's basically kind of like the premise of the movie, jadi, um, this movie actually tells about the story of Ivan Locke, yang merupakan seorang construction foreman yang along the way from uh, Birmingham to London, um, kind of like this, having this imaginary conversation with his father yang uh, sudah lama meninggal, ya. Yeah. Karena this having this, uh, you know, agak halusinasi gitu ya, atau membayangkan gitu ya. And along the way, we discover about some things in his past ya, dan juga mungkin yang agak uh, kelam gitu ya. Dan, um, you know, kind of like this along the journey ya, the way of Ivan Locke gitu. Um, He tries to like you know settle stressful personal dan juga um, professional problems ya yeah, uh, di cellphone ya yeah. jadi ada suara mungkin istrinya ada suara you know lots of stuffs yang digambarkan lewat perjalanan itu ya yeah. so it's um, the critics saying that uh, approach ya pendekatan dari film ini itu cukup in, uh, cukup menarik ya yeah, karena dia dari sisi perjalanan yang you know, creates this whole story you know, revealed ya yeah. dan film ini dibintangi oleh Tom Hardy ada Tom Holland ada Olivia Colman Andrew Scott Ruth Wilson Ben Daniels dan Alice Lowe and um, this movie Shown uh, Arab competition di Seventh Venice International Film Festival. Ya, yeah, then um, basically that's the premise of the movie. Then film ini disrayed oleh Stephen Knight. Ya, yeah. jadi um, you can see the um, reception of the Rotten Tomatoes. Ya, yeah. film ini mendapatkan fresh, ya, yeah, fresh rating. Yeah. So if you want to watch some kind of interesting drama, you know festival movie you can watch locked at a blitz megaplex soon soon enough <laughs> soon enough <laughs> then you know we all know that tom hardy is you know one of um actor accl- acclaimed juga ya filmnya ya, karena um, the last role he took seperti the fighter um you know and like You know this uh, playing as Bane in the, the, um, the latest Batman movies. Itu juga, um, you know, lots of very interesting roles that he took. Yeah, it, uh, this one is surely something very different. Yeah, it's a drama thriller film, yang centers around this kind of like complex stories about a man. Yeah, jadi. Uh, be sure to watch uh, Locked um, in uh, the theater, in Blitz Megaplex theaters near you, Masinya, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically, that's the review I have for the movie. And right now, we will be giving you the latest, the five, you know, movies that is off the hook. <laughs> Uh, this week at um, Blitz Megaplex uh, Cinema. So, so for the fifth position, we have 
tara 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 this is the monuments man yeah the monuments man is in the fifth position and it's directed by george clooney and also was written place by george clooney yeah then um film ini bercerita tentang the attempts dari sekelompok aktivis gitu ya called the monuments man yang tugasnya adalah untuk menyelamatkan barang-barang bukti sejarah untuk menyelamatkan sebuah peradaban ya supaya tidak hilang gitu ya so basically it's ini it's also inspired by true story ya and on the fourth position we have Rio to ya Rio to adalah sequel dari Rio the first movie and it's um filmnya lebih memfiturkan Amazon as the backdrop of the story dan bercerita tentang rata-rata lama juga ya yang uh, diusik oleh masalah-masalah baru gitu so uh, you will surely meet again with interesting characters yang ada di The Parrot you know in the movie yeah. so in the third position we have The Raid 2 The Raid 2 berandal ya yeah. um, it's you know it's surely a box office hit ya yeah. terkenal banget ya yeah. it's it's kind of like cult movie um, starring Iko Uwais and directed by Gareth Evans dan you know ada karakter-karakter unik juga yang muncul di film ini seperti ada Hammer Girl by Julia Stiles and also the best ball Batman by Ferry Trisulisman is surely an interesting movie ya yeah. in the second position we have Son of God ya yeah, Son of God dirilis karena uh, berdekatan dengan um, di minggu ini masih tentang um, pasca ya yeah. so it's the celebration of Easter is celebrated by the release of the movie also ya yeah. We will surely be reminded of Passion of the Christ, but this one is for the younger generation, yeah. Son of God, yeah. Um, it's also taken by a sh- a clips from the original miniseries, Son of God, yeah. Then, untuk posisi pertama, we have Captain America Winter Soldier, yang menduduki posisi pertama, ya. Yeah. So, this one is the second movie from Captain America in the... Uh, I believe it's the ninth um, installment of the Marvel um, Cinematic Universe, yeah. Then, um, film ini ada karakter antagonis to Winter Soldier, yeah. Dan juga ada karakter-karakter lama seperti Black Widow, ada juga yang pasti don't forget Captain America himself, yang diperankan oleh Chris Evans, yeah. Dan Black Widow diperankan oleh Scarlett Johansson, and also their appearance is by uh, Samuel L. Jackson, and also some of you know favorites pastinya ya yeah. so uh, you know everyone say that it's better than the first one yeah. so uh, that's the end of the segment top 5 please make up like terakhir ya yeah. dan kita akan membahas tentang movie news update for you guys who want to be updated with the latest movie news you gotta have to stay tuned ya yeah. dan juga nanti akan ada quiz of the day quiz of the day will be giving you free tickets towards free at best mega plexia so don't go anywhere still stay tuned only on cinema lounge what what <laughs> yeah itu tadi ya um, we have reviewed about our main movie, suggest movie, and also coming soon. Yeah. So right now here in Cinema Lounge, I'm Willem as the host. Right now we'll be giving you some of the latest movie news update for you guys from movie.com. Yeah. Then you know for you guys yang rasa nggak update banget gitu ya pasti kok nggak update banget deh kayaknya. So <laughs> uh, you have to check this segment out to watch uh, to see some latest movie news update okay, for the first news we have this is the news about the rate 
2 eh, The Raid 2 ya yang sudah masuk box office Inggris dan Rusia. Wow, that's a great news ya. Um, film ini ternyata diakui secara internasional dan uh, berhasil masuk di 10 besar box office wilayah Inggris dan Rusia. Dua negara yang termasuk pasar film terbesar di dunia. Jadi Menurut data dari box office Mojo, the rate itu pendapatannya 759,9 ribu dolar Amerika Serikat di pekan pertamanya di bioskop Inggris Raya dan Irlandia sudah tahu kan kalau misalnya di Twitter tuh antrian tuh panjang banget gitu ya karena um, layar yang banyak banget layar yang menayangkan ada 233 layar ditayangkan untuk the rate ya so it's a huge distribution dan um, untuk pekan sebelumnya saja the rate itu berhasil peringkat ketujuh ya. Jadi total sudah mendapatkan sekitar 550-an ribu dolar ya. Dan um, sejauh ini dari uh, sudah total 1,3 juta dolar di luar uh, hampir 3 pekan di luar negeri. So it's a very unexpected results mengingat jumlah uh, besar banget ya. Dan uh, tentunya masih on track juga ya dengan dari pertama karena dari pertama mendapatkan total 4,1 juta dolar di tahun 2012 ya jadi film ini I think it's gonna be um, you know have much more income than the previous one ya dan uh, film di Indonesia sendiri adalah film Indonesia kedua di tahun 2014 yang menembus 1 juta tiket setelah Comic 8 ya jadi diperkirakan film in, uh, ini Uh, memang sudah dipersiapkan untuk dirilis secara internasional seperti di Indonesia, Amerika Serikat, Inggris, Rusia dan juga film ini ditayangkan di Australia, Selandia Baru, Kanada dan Turki dan rencananya akan ditayangkan di Finlandia, Thailand, Vietnam, Belgia, Belanda, Prancis dan Jepang pada beberapa bulan mendatang ya. So I think it's gonna be a great news, you know, Indonesia is gonna have a lot, you know, big exposure through this movie ya, yeah. so ya yeah, pasti pecak silat ya, yeah. lebih terkenal sekarang <laughs> so, uh, the second news we have is about the latest news about the Fast and Furious 7 ya yeah. wow, Fast and Furious 7 ada lagi ya, yeah. wow dan bagaimana kelanjutan uh, dari Paul Walker ya, yeah. Paul Walker sendiri um, you know, sempat mengam bay mengambil banyak adegan Uh, untuk film ini ya jadi namun ada beberapa adegan yang belum dilakoni Walker dan akhirnya digantikan oleh kedua adik kandungnya Caleb dan Cody ya jadi uh, Studio Universal Pictures uh, mengumumkan lewat laman Facebook resminya kepada fans serial Fast and Furious bahwa syuting itu telah dilanjutkan kembali dan peran yang belum di uh, peran Brian O'Connor yang belum di shoot oleh uh, dengan Walker akan uh, kembali dilanjutkan dengan kehadiran dari adik-adik Paul, Caleb, and Cody dalam keluarga uh, Fast. Ya, jadi mereka akan mengisi gap-gap yang hilang itu ya dan uh, kurang dari setahun film lagi film Fast and Furious 7 akan dirilis dan ini. This is uh, menurut um, you know perwakilan dari um, Fast and Furious 7 ya yeah, it's gonna be uh, the long awaited movie um, you know for you know lots of fans of Uh, Fast and Furious ya. Jadi uh, memang um, sequel ke-6 ini sudah mulai syuting sejak Oktober tahun lalu namun ketika shoot uh, per, uh, you know the Thanksgiving holidays uh, Paul Walker is actually uh, passed away was actually passed away during accident dan um, di Valencia Los Angeles tepat tanggal 30 November jadi mengakibatkan syuting terhenti dan baru dilanjutkan bulan April 2014. Jadi skenario pasti diubah kemudian ada juga adegan-adegan yang uh, you know, di alter ya di, dirubah-rubah dan film ini adalah film terakhir se se Walker sebelum uh, meninggal ya dan jadi film ini di oleh James Wan uh, yang you know main di Uh, directed The Conjuring and Insidious dan juga dibintang oleh Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson aka The Rock, ada juga Tony Jaa dan Jason Statham dan uh, Kurt Russell. Ya, yeah, dan rencana akan ditayangkan pada 10 April 2015. So be sure to check that one out because it's hell of a movie cast ya yeah, tadi ya. Ada Tony Jaa, ada um, Kurt Russell dan Jason Statham. It's gonna be a hell of a great movie ya. Yeah. So Uh, the third news we have is about uh, in the latest Indonesian movie Me and You First The World, which is our suggest movie ya. Jadi film ini 
lebih menekankan kepada you know this kind of like this um, diperankan oleh Rio Dewanto ya Carter Jeremy dan juga Sera yang diperankan oleh De uh, Dea Seto jadi kayak pria pe- uh, you know professionals 20s in the 20s like you know outdoors gitu like to s- you know, explore ya dan juga ada karakter um, you know pelajar teladan di SMA yang dimakan oleh Dea Seto itu dipertemukan ya di film yang disuruh oleh Fajar Nugros ya jadi um, cerita tentang you know kind of like this having f- uh, exploring things with go kart rafting you know menyelam panjat tebing itu semuanya semuanya yang ekstrim ekstrim ya so those kind of activities uh, you know yang membuat karakter Sarah dan Jeremy bertemu maksudnya ada tentunya ada konflik juga ya konflik konflik gitu berkeluarga konflik yang campur campur gitu ya and uh, the movie itself is adaptation dari film laris novel laris karangan Stanley Mellon terbitan Wahyu Media yang terkatanya ternyata uh, terilhami dari uh, kisah nyata ya jadi Masih versi filmnya yang di skenario ditulis oleh Endan Endi Kuswoyo itu uh, agak dirubah-rubah dikit ya dari versi novelnya ya. Jadi uh, dibuat sudut pandang lebih seimbang dan ada juga porsi humornya lebih banyak ya. Jadi uh, you know it's like a, ada juga ditambah lokasi India di latar ceritanya. Jadi film ini diklaim sebagai film Indonesia pertama yang melakukan syuting di landmark terkenal India Taj Mahal. Jadi film Me and You vs the World ini diproduksi oleh Rapi Films dan dibintangi oleh Bucek Dap, Zoya Amirin, Ashila Zahrain Tiara dan juga um, banyak banget ya seperti ada Manohara, ada dan penampilan khusus dari Atika Siholan ya. Dan film ini sudah dirilis pada tanggal 17 April ya. Yeah. So that's basically the news I have for um, You know, lots of movies news update, yeah. Then it's time for me to announce the quiz of the day, yeah. Quiz of the day kali ini. Uh, for the f- question adalah siapakah yang merankan tokoh utama dalam film Me and You versus the World? Apakah A. Iko Kuais? atau B Rio Dewanto atau apakah C Jota Slim ya dan cara menjawabnya gampang banget kau bisa kirim dengan format <coughs> nama spasi alamat spasi jawaban dan kau bisa kirim melalui uh, SMS atau Twitter atau email ya the simplest way is by SMS or Twitter maybe <laughs> ya dan uh, it, I'm gonna mention the the questions one more time Uh, uh, siapa kamera utama dalam film Me and You versus the World? Apakah A Iko Wais, B Rio Dewanto, apakah C Jota Slim, Jota Slim dan um, cara menjawabnya dengan format nama seperti alamat, seperti jawaban ya. Kau bisa kirim dengan um, apakah bisa melalui SMS atau Twitter atau you can send it through email ya. So um, It's time for me to mention uh, the winner for uh, quiz of the day last week ya karena uh, mana akan mendapatkan dua tiket menonton gratis di Blitz Megaplex bersama The Jive Movies ya. Yeah. So, without further ado, I'm gonna announce the winner for last week and it goes to to Dallas ya. Yeah. Oh, di sensor ni. Tidak ya. Oh, nggak apa-apa ya. Itu untuk promosi ya, yeah. so <laughs> untuk iya yeah, itu mungkin promosi kali ya promosi saat-saat gitu ya. So anyway ya, yeah, so congratulations to Dallas ya. Yeah. To Dallas you gotta get two free tickets to uh, to watch at Blitz Megaplex ya. Yeah. Um, you know lots of movies ya, yeah. so you can there you go ya yeah. as usual one ticket for you, one ticket for me. Yeah, so uh, it's time for me to uh, review some of the movies that we've just reviewed. Yeah, tadi ada juga main movies. Our main movie is Blood Ties, dan 
ada suggest movie kita Me and You First the World dan ada juga coming soon movie Lock by uh, the film starring Tom Hardy ya yeah. so in the meantime I will you know we come to the closing of the show I'm gonna have to say thank you first to um, Blitz Megaplex to Jeff Movies to Movie.com for movie news update yeah and also to Caring Colors for the makeup yeah and also to Cinema Lounge Cruise Gahol Gahol <laughs> for the you know props props <laughs> so we'll be seeing you at the same channel at the same time still on Cinema Lounge